Hello guys, in this video tutorial we will discuss about protein quantification by Brad Portisay. This method was discovered by Marion Bradford in 1967. It used to determine the unknown concentration of a protein in a solution. So it's a quantitative assay. It depends on color change. So it's a color metric method. It depends on the interaction between a dye and molecular protein. So what are the criteria for such a dye to be used in a quantitative assay? It should be high sensitive and has low background and able to detect large linear range. Those properties are depend on its extension coefficient which means how strong a chemical species or substances absorb the light at given wavelength avidity which means how tightly the binding it is mainly there are two commonly dyes are used for this purpose Comacy brilliant blue r250 which is higher in sensitive and more common use but it tends to be used in gel staining methods and Comacy Brilliant Blue G250, which is lower in sensitivity, but it's more convenient for rapid staining, and it's used commonly in Bradford Essay because of its color change properties. So under acidic conditions, it takes positive charge and takes red to brownish in color and able to be detected at 470 nanometer. Whereas in neutral conditions, it takes a neutral charge and turns green in color. In contrast, in basic condition, it takes an ionic charge and able to be detected at 595 nanometer and takes blue color. So under acidic conditions, protein interact with the Comacy Brilliant Blue dye which is exist in cationic unstable form. A bone binding it gives more stable unprotonated complex which is blue in color. So we shine a light at 595 nanometer to detect the blue color complex. The more darker blue color the higher protein concentration. Under acidic conditions, uh, Comacy Brilliant Blue is cationic, mainly doubly protonated. When dye comes in contact with the protein, the first electron is donated, which disrupts the structure of a protein, resulting in exposure of hydrophobic pockets. The dye binds to those pockets, depending on interaction between the sulfonic group and positively charged residues like arginine, histidine, and lysine. This interaction is in ionic interactions. In addition to that, there is attraction due to van der Waals forces. So at the end we get a stably bound Comacy in unprotonated form, which is blue in color. Since the amount of a blue an unique uh, form is proportional to the amount of a protein. The quantity of a protein in a sample can be measured directly. The selection of standard protein is the most critical step in Bradford essay. It used to quantify the amount of a protein in a complex to subtract any background due to interfering substances that can shift the ratios between the three forms of the dye. So we should choose a dye that yields similar color to the protein of interest. This is usually done by experiments. We choose the best one. There are two commonly used standard proteins for this purpose. BSA, which is bovine cerium albumin, and BGG, which is bovine gamma globin. BSA gives color development greater than gamma globin. BSA also is more appropriate for albumin quantification. After determine the standard protein, take suitable amount of it, which is obviously known in concentration, 
and go for serial dilution to get a range of standard protein with, which are known in concentration, which will help to detect the relationship between the absorbance and concentration. Take the protein sample. If the absorbance of the protein sample is much higher than the stock standard protein itself, then to dilute the protein sample. Take a blank which is only dye without any protein sample to subtract any background color if it is exist. Take the absorbance of all dilutions, protein sample and blank. Collect the data, plot the absorbance in respect to concentration Usually, it gives linear relationship. You can get the unknown concentration uh, of your protein of interest either by extra plotation or by using this equation. In this case, the absorbance is y and we want to calculate x value. The advantages of this method are its speed. The entire process takes about half an hour to 45 minutes. You can do measure many samples in short time. It uh, uses a visible light, so it makes a sense about the concentration of the sample from its darkness. This method able to detect large range of proteins. Also, it able to detect low concentrations. The disadvantages of this method are it doesn't work with many surfactants such as uh, flavonoid and basic buffers so you might uh, overcome this obstacle by using incompatible surfactant like acetonitrile, EDTA and beta to ethanol Poor acidic solubility proteins cannot be assayed because uh, reaction depends on the acidic environment. It doesn't appropriate for low molecular weight proteins because the larger protein can bind more dye molecules than smaller do. Generally, the mass of a protein should be at least 3 kilodalton. It doesn't suit for proteins which have relatively higher or lower positive charge residues compared to the standard solution. For, for that, the selection of standard solution is very critical for accuracy of a brat for the say, especially in terms of mass and the proportion of positive amino acids. This was everything. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe the channel.